the real star of this garden is the building itself. This amazing building that has literally no straight lines designed by Hunterwasser with the colorful golden dome and the tile and this walkway that's with all this amazing patterned flagstone. And part the whole part of the meadow here was not to compete with the building, but to, to really set the building off. And the forms of the grasses mimic the forms and colors of the mountains behind, the fabulous cliffs and palisades. The silver of the olive trees is pulled down into the garden with the silvery uh, flower spikes of the penicetums and the miscanthus. And it's basically two kinds of grasses. And here's where a lot of uh, meadows go wrong is there's too many different kinds of grass flowers that sort of compete. Here we're taking two different kinds of flowers, the, the penicetum, the fountain grass, and the miscanthus. And it's just a one-two. So the simplicity of it is what pulls it together. Now, there's more than one variety of penicetum here. This is Penicetum fairy tales. Uh, underneath the olives here, we have the pink plumes newly emerging of the Penicetum cetaceum fountain grass. And behind it, uh, behind the blue flowers of the salvia there, is Penicetum tall tails. And then off to the right, still a species Penicetum from Argentina, the naked fountain grass, Penicetum frutescens. So it's one family of grasses. So they're, they're different, but they're similar. And that's what I think gives it a lot of the character that you see. In that same way, there's three or four different varieties of miscanthus, these dwarf miscanthus uh, here. Here's another variety of miscanthus, gracilimus, which is a later blooming variety. You can see there's no flowers on it just yet. So the color, again, is more just tiny little drops and dollops of color, sort of mimicking, echoing the way there's only little dots and dollops of color on the building itself. And so by having that discipline of only a few colors, it really makes the colors stand out. One of the interesting aspects of meadow gardening is understanding disturbance ecology and understanding the true nature of weeds. Now, the real definition of a weed is a plant out of place. So something that might be a weed in some situations may not be a weed in others. In this case, here's this agrostis, this uh, bent grass, and in most settings this would be a weed, but in this natural setting of grasses here, it actually looks pretty good. So maybe it's not a weed, if the definition of a weed is a plant out of place. Similarly, this dark green swath that we see here is actually just tall fescue that has naturalized. And actually, you got to admit, it looks pretty good as a green ground cover. It actually has a showy flower that in this case has been pruned off, but I don't know that I would take it out. It makes a nice green foil for the brighter green and silver green colors of the taller ornamental grasses behind it. When fall comes, we get fall color on the persimmon tree. We'll also get fall color, reds and oranges, on the pistache tree in the background. And we'll also get torches of yellow of the fall color of the poplars up above. But the warm season grasses, the miscanthus in this case, these will turn beautiful copper colors as well and then remain as dormant skeletons throughout the winter. So it's a whole different look, but with the same textures and the same forms, but just with different colors in the fall and in the winter. I hope we get to come back and see that later in the year.